is we've had a few more that are more mixed feelings games than last time. Which is admittedly my own fault because I front-loaded all the best demos I found onto the first day. I probably should have split those up a little bit better. That's my own fault. Yeah, definitely need to do audio. Hang on. Is it forgot my audio settings? Because I definitely adjusted this audio when I was testing this. But I can definitely tell you it forgot because I had this down to like 20. And it went, hey, what about 80 again? Have you considered it being 80 again? Like, as it turns out, no, I didn't, I didn't consider the idea of it obliterating my ears. There we go. Forgot all of my damn settings. There we go. Now y'all get to hear it again, though. Judging from where that's sitting, I think I can bump that a little further and it won't be bad. Okay, but this is Mother's Sword. This is an interesting one. It seems all right at face value. I don't know how well it will hold up because I only had a little bit of time left to test this one. This was one of the later ones in the line. Which that was the other thing is some of the testing for today was a bit of a rush job, like I mentioned earlier. Which is also where some quality variance starts coming in. Which, admittedly, the lack of time I had to test demos was my own fault, like I said before, because I was getting distracted. Just keep stabbing and grabbing coins. Increase bravery by striking enemies. Once filled, you can recover all your vitality. Okay, it looks like it starts us with it full. Collect energy points to unlock new sword skills. Okay, all as expected. Save your progress, equip amulets, and unlock new sword skills. So let's see, we have old sword, which can get fall attack, final lunge, and some stuff we don't know anything about. All of which are too expensive for us to buy right now. It looks like we have like three amulet slots, but no amulets to put in them. Okay. And presumably then, since it looked like there was a... And save. Since there was a slot for or the weapon's name, I presume there's multiple swords we'll get as well. Red energy points. Striking enemies several times without taking damage will give you red energy points, adding an extra amount of energy points. By eliminating enemies, the amount of extra energy points will increase. Okay. Visible energy. New amulet. Now, before we go deal with shield man, let's put that amulet on. That seems like a good idea immediately, doesn't it? Allows you to see the vitality of ener enemies when you strike them. Yes, please. Health bars are helpful. Can I go upward? Yes, I can. Let's not deal with shield man right now, then. Oh, you stab more than once. Okay. That's on me. Should have waited their attack out. Refill with our bravery there. There's a full scale map. Oh, that was the wrong place to look at a map, as it turns out. New skill deflection. Deflect enemies' attack 
attacks right at the moment of impact to reduce their stun points. Once stunned, the damage will be doubled. Okay, so do what I was already doing. Because I was basically parrying before, but now we actually can parry. With ha which has a lot of special effects to it, which is a little blinding. fucked around trying to parry that I should have just killed him. Real shame that you can only shoot straight forward, huh? It seems like enemies regenerate health too slightly. Ah, I can parry an arrow. Ah. It's always kind of impressive when games let you parry arrows. Mostly because you gotta think of just how absurdly difficult that would be. It looks like them stepping on us, by the way, was doing damage, because I took damage from their foot at some point. like parry multiple attacks back to back it really didn't seem like it just it seemed like there's some leeway time between those Ooh, healing butterflies Quick magics and magic menu strike and deflect enemy attacks to increase your magic okay so now we can press y to heal or b to heal Whitey heal is fine. Oh, doesn't heal for much, but it doesn't drain too much of our magic meter either, so that's okay. And it's meant to supplement our other healing ability anyway. I second guessed whether he was going to be able to reach me is why I didn't parry that one. I just kind of stood there and took that. And yeah, there's contact damage. That's why when they were standing where I was step, whenever I was jumping, I got hurt. Okay. Now I understand. I'm glad I lowered the sound effects the way I did, otherwise that parrying noise would be unbearable. As it stands, it's already pretty loud. Oh, there we go. I can get counterattack now. But I have to specifically know I'm going to manage to deflect and then hold the button and attack. Uh, I think I'll just take Final Lunge. Final Lunge seems like a better idea. Ooh, and we get a better Final Lunge, too. I do appreciate that there are unlockable things here, and based on these ones with the physical locks on them, I presume these are, like, not available in demo-type deals, and then the ones down here are accessible. Which may sound ba backwards at face value, but I think that that's true. I don't know that that's true, I just think that that's true. There we go. And yeah, if you're aggressive enough, that's how you get the red, okay. It said that, but I wasn't sure like how far you had to push it to get that. And it looks like having the extra attack was the only way we were going to start triggering that. I waited too long. There we go. Still steadily getting the hand hang of that. The answer is yes, you can parry as much as you want, as long as you can get the timing. Okay. That's gonna... Hang on, I'm gonna put a flashing light warning up. Also, it didn't update the category. Fuck's sake, Twitch. Why are you so bad about updating categories today? I literally fucking switched categories and you're like, but you're on games and demos. But I'm not. Don't be a pain in the butt. 
Yeah, there you go. There's the flashing warning because if I start parrying properly, it's probably going to start flashing a bit more. So I'd rather have that cautionary warning up. Actually, can I just turn the flash on that off because... Yeah, special effects are currently high. Let's see what happens if we turn them to low. Nope, it still flashes, unless it undid my setting immediately. No? There's no off. Which is unfortunate. As neat as they are, I'm already getting a little tired of getting flash banged every time I parry. Especially since this game seems to rely on that idea. So I'm not really sure where the idea for that comes in. Aside from a very basic, oh yeah, this will look cool. Without really thinking it through as to what the consequences of that decision would be. Because otherwise this is good, but just the... The flashbang when I parry is not ideal. Which I hadn't tested this long enough to get the parry ability, so I didn't know that that was a thing in this at all. I obviously didn't want to play too much of the demo, otherwise what's the point? But clearly, in this particular case, I should have tested a little further so I would have known about that. Not that it's really going to stop me, but it does add a, a little caveat there. And I'll probably put a flashing warning on the actual VOD section as well. Just for safety. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a shop or something. Turns out it's a boss fight. Oh, he has a multi-swing at some points. And he hits really hard. Okay. Your energy points have been retained in your sword. Strike enemies to fill the curse bar and break the curse. Once the curse is broken, your retained energy points will return to you. If you take damage, the curse bar will decrease. And if you die, all of your retained energy points will be lost. Okay, so you don't actually have to get back to where you died, you just need to get your points back by fighting. That's clever. Okay. Because that incentivizes less of a death treadmill on a boss and more like, hey, maybe you should go do something else for a moment. a one-way door the only thing is that curse meter does seem to be uh, rather lengthy Ooh, that was almost a bad situation I could have probably parried my way out of that, but I'm trying not to use it more than necessary. There's another one of those big shield guys. I'm just gonna keep treating those as a you can't go that way for the moment. So I feel like that's probably true. Because if they never lower that shield, we're never getting past them. So they're either like your demo limitation in entities or they're a, like later in the game thing. 
Another boss fight. Another boss fight. Oh, this is a proper boss fight. This is a full health bar. Oh, I can parry in the air, apparently, so that's cool. And we're dead and lost all of that energy. Well, that was rude. Gotta love how they went from really slow attacks to, hey, I have a multi-hit. Whack, whack, dead. <laughs> so that's not ideal either, but you know, we're learning. We're figuring things out. Uh, I don't really have any worlds to go though, do I? I think I might be able to go that way. I know the area below there is the one with the shield guy, so we can't go that way. I'm trying to find places that don't involve fighting the things that have killed me. Okay, so we got a shortcut back down. Maybe this will help. Whatever this is. Mm, I'm gonna go with a no, that won't help. Because <laughs> that's only 100 energy and we lost more than that. So... Not particularly helpful. So no, that... We only can go to the two fights that killed us. Those are the only places that are left. And the the guy that killed us first isn't even marked on the map. Oh, which is kind of wild. It's just a room. I guess let's go get killed by the first guy again. Is his health bar shorter? So I think we're more likely to be able to take him. Here we go. Time to get bodied again. Oh wait, the door didn't close this time. Oh, there it went. Okay. I got thrown off by the door not immediately closing. And the heal takes entirely too long. Okay. Really just losing money hand over fist here. Which, this is the part that always kind of sucks with systems like that. It's like, oh, hey, have you considered just losing everything you worked to gain? Just constantly losing it over and over again. And here's the thing. Either I run around for a good, like, ten minutes, it looks like, give or take, to get the, the points back, or I just accept the fact that they're dead points, basically. Caught out by that multi hit of his. I disagree with one specific thing there, and that is I got stuck on him for a moment. I couldn't move forward or backward for a second. And that really fucked everything up for me because I was trying to move past him so that I could have repositioned. But it's just like, eh, no. No, that just doesn't work. Have you considered just dying instead? Because, like, getting any kind of spacing in order to heal in this fight is the biggest problem with this fight. Because your alternative is to do what I'm doing right now, which is basically play the fight perfectly. Which is not really what I like to do here. I don't like to have to rely on perfection. Oh hey, that got the curse meter fulfilled though. Like he by himself is such a long drawn out ordeal 
that we filled the curse meter off of him, though we had a much smaller amount of money, so presumably less money means less curse meter. And all of that was just for a spell. Yikes. But hey, we have a ranged attack now, which might actually be huge in that boss fight. I'm gonna go save so I don't ever have to do that again. And we can also test how strong this is on these guys. The answer, not especially. Which is not surprising. You wouldn't expect it to be, like, crazy powerful. Where you're clearing these guys for free, basically. But with how fast the magic heal is versus our actual bravery heal, I feel like... I'm almost better off spending all my magic on using it for healing. Just because trying to bravery heal just asks for you to get punished trying to do that. Oh hey, saving doesn't bring enemies back to life. That's good to know. This game's own special effects also can kind of get in the way of being able to tell what's happening sometimes. Which is not great. It's probably not ideal design to blind your players. I mean, we can always see if we can get past the big shield down here. I fucked up all my inputs there because I went to bravery heal forgetting that these guys shoot arrows because for some reason I just had a moment where I just went full stupid for a second like right there the arrow goes behind the enemy models so you can't actually see where the arrow is once it gets to a certain point and obviously you know Getting that timing is a little rough. Okay, he does have a parry meter. Yes, they can be killed. Okay. So they can be passed, so we do have other options. Well, I don't like this option, but it's better than the other one. you know, I somehow just fumble inputs and die. So I, I disagree with how that played out to a very small degree, because I feel like something didn't work properly there, and I can't quite put my finger on what. You know, other than my hands, because my hands definitely didn't do what I directed, but that's as much a me thing as anything else. But there definitely was something weird that happened there. And honestly, fuck dealing with these guys. I'm just not. These guys, I don't have much of a choice. Though the, the double archer spam shot is annoying. see what happened on that last one there's just a tiny little bit of hit stun as well which i think is what foiled what i tried to do now when i have to kill you again huh there we go let's wait till they're all to one side and we'll try to like lightning bolt them to death which is what i tried to do last time but i stayed a little too close to them looks like they try to stay to me though oh it has a range limit well that's fucking shame oh 
Okay, I almost fucked that up and that would've been really embarrassing. Poison spell. Okay. Not sure that was worth it either, but we'll find out. When using attack magics, enemies will be poisoned for a while. Okay. That might be good, question mark? Not really convinced by that one immediately. But at least it pairs with our lightning bolt, so it might do something? Let's quickly run back to the save point. So I gotta remember that I didn't kill these guys, so I'm gonna need to hippity hop past them. Didn't I kill you too? I feel like I killed you too. So maybe there is a respawn and they're just like on a timer. I think part of the thing is some of the attacks that I have now allows me to be more aggressive and I'm now being too aggressive. Which I know, me being too aggressive? That would never happen. Never ever. Yeah, see, now they're still dead. If I walk away for a while and come back, I presume they'll be back again. Because we didn't touch any other save points or die or anything over here, so... That just must be how that works. We're just gonna skip those guys this time as we're going for the boss fight. Which is probably a bad idea, but I feel like we're as prepared as we're gonna get short of going all the way back to the other er, shield guy and trying to bypass him. Ah, okay, I can send their sword waves back to them if I parry them. Get poisoned. trying to block the... I thought we were dead already because the screen went so red, so I stopped moving. Not realizing, no, you were alive, and the game gives you bad signals sometimes. So we did better. We didn't win, but we did better. But you really get very badly punished for blocking rather than parrying, I gotta say. Is the stun time on blocking those attacks is brutal. Like, oh hey, you wanna sit there like an idiot for a solid few seconds just because you made the mistake of missing by a frame? Well, good news, this is the game for you. Our character here clearly doesn't fully understand how to use this sword yet. They're really good at parrying, but that seems to be about the main thing they understand how to do. Which is kind of funny when you think about it.
Okay, form change. I'll go ahead and heal. That's a little weird. Okay. Go ahead, keep sending more of those. I like those. wasn't that bad. Oh, little rough, but not too crazy bad. A mighty soul rests here. Would you like to face the soul again? Oh, wow, you can refight bosses, too. Neat. I wonder if you keep getting money every time. Because that would make it worth it. Oh, <laughs> that was the end of the demo. Okay, fair enough. That was pretty good. That wasn't anything mind-blowing, 